Sweetest greetings to everyone present in this hall today. I am Neenam Hang Rai of Levin Science and I shall be reciting Hamlet's To Be or Not to Be Soliloquy. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end them, to die, to sleep, no more. And by a sleep to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. It is a consummation devoutly to be wished, to die, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream, aye, there's the rub, for in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil? Who would fardels bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life, but that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country from whose born no traveler has returned, puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have than to fly to others that we know not of. Thus, conscience, thus, thus conscience does, a, does make a coward of us all. And thus, the native hue of resolution is sicklied o'er with a pale cast of thought. With this regard, their currents turn awry and lose the name of action. Thank you.